So, Paul, you wanted a review. Well, you got it. How's everyone doing today? Welcome back to A1 Bokeh. We are here with my current favorite lens, the Mitocon 17 millimeter 0.95. I knew, I knew it was gonna be something special about this lens. I don't know why, but going off of the impression of the 25 millimeter that I have, I was like, the 17.95 at this time in my life? If you checked out the unboxing, I was looking at the Olympus 17 millimeter, and then we got the Voigtlander 17.5. Both of those are like double or uh, even more the price for a very similar focal length. And the Olympus is a 1.2, is a 0.95. Incredible. So I heard about the lens through Richard Wong and I went and ordered it, man. And initial thoughts were amazing build, great price, shipping fast as a donkey, all the way from China. All right, so first, let's talk about the build. Dude, all metal, all freaking metal, bro. Freaking getting jacked, just using this thing. All metal lens hood. Lens hood also can go on with the cap. Huh. It's just incredible. And it's also, it's a really good looking lens. Just looks solid, man. The black with the yellow. Amazing top, the packaging, all that, man. And we got the smooth aperture. Just, oh, man. I love this thing, man. Love this guy. Yeah, build quality, 10 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna talk about the price at 400 bucks. Now, I think in the photo and video world, we forget how expensive that is. You know, dropping $400 for a lot of people is like, that's a chunk of change, but it's like, I don't wanna say that's nothing for a lens, but that's like average for a decent lens. 400 bucks for a 0.95, dude, especially micro four thirds? I mean, that's like, no, nah, that doesn't exist. So the fact that they are selling it at this price point is like incredible. It's not gonna break the bank because in my opinion, this lens could be used for pretty much all situations. You can have this the wide shot, you can have a medium, you can have close up and it's like, you're still getting some good bokeh, good low light. It's like, man, this thing is incredible. Image quality. So in my opinion, I love the image quality coming out of this. Like some of these images coming out, it's like, bro, I don't, I don't really have to grade them. I honestly feel like if I grade them, they're gonna be worse. And it's like, dude, I, I love this. I can't get over it. I love this lens. And I'm not even just talking video, Paul. I'm talk photos, Paul. Photos, okay, so I kind of got into the school of thought or my experience was like, if you're doing photos, you kind of want to do a non-manual, autofocus lens, you know, just quick beep, boom, bang, got the photo. This is a all manual focus, so you're gonna have to take a little time focusing, but photos are freaking dope, man, like. A lot of the photos that I've taken with this lens, I love them. I, I love, just love them straight up. It's like you can get enough background if you want, or you can get pretty decently close. So I mean, yeah, and, and for me, this lens is just so versatile. It like does it all. Like, like, like dude, you know, and it's like a lot of times I don't need a lot of editing because of the character of the lens. And so 
Yeah, man, photo, video, I love the image quality, man. I love it. And I know I'm not the most experienced guy. I'm not the best, but from what I see, I like it. Let's get to the part that no one wants to talk about, the cons to this lens. Mitocon, I hope this doesn't ruin our non-existent but possible future relationship where you can send me stuff and I can review it. Um, <laughs> preferably that 35 millimeter point nine vibe, just saying. So there's only two cons for me, in my opinion, from my experience. And that is when you're at 0.95, and there's a light source and it's a little too direct, it's gonna give you like this ring. I guess depending on what you want, it can, you might be able to use it. It might be artistically cool. But what I have noticed is that you can just crank it a little bit towards 1.4 and that ring is gone. So it's like, I mean, and it's barely, you barely gotta crank it, man. So that's pretty crazy. So that's one thing I would say could be a con. Um, the second, when you're at 0 0.95, there's a little bit of a magenta cast, a little bit, nothing like crazy. If you check out my unboxing video, you can see it. Not that crazy. I heard the Voigtlander kind of has that too, um, at 0 0.95, like a magenta or a chromatic aberration. This one, I personally haven't seen any chromatic aberration. Even a lot of times at 0.95, man, it's like the image is just stuck on there, it's like solid, you know? I don't know what I mean, but <laughs> yeah, man, it's a great lens. I, I don't have much bad to say about it. It's honestly, it's it's like my go-to. Um, So like this and the 25, and then with the, the Lumix camera, you have the X teleconverter. Boom, there you go. So it's almost like you got four lenses in two. Yeah, so Mitocon, amazing job. Richard Wong, thank you for pointing it out. Um, I bought that thing quick. And yeah, if you are looking at the Voigtlander, the Olympus, I would suggest taking a look at this too. You know, I guess it depends on your style. Me, I love a lot of character. I love a lot of, you know, dark shadowy crap. And um, this does it for me a lot of times. So, yeah, let's let's put this on autofocus because we're closing it out. See if we can get it. Catch you next time. P? No? All right. Love you guys. Love you too. Yeah. Yes. All right. If you have this lens, if you're thinking about getting this lens, tell me in the comments. And um, yeah, holla at me. Peace.